Welcome to your yoga practice for full body immunity. We are here today in beautiful Rio Perdido in Costa Rica with a deep cleansing and power focused yoga class that is intended to boost your immune system from within. Through the practice of deep twisting and a few different pranayama techniques, we will detoxify the body of any toxins which will help boost your immune system so it can be strong to keep you healthy, vibrant, and powerful. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, friends, we're going to start out today seated at the back of your mat with your hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers and extend through the elbows as you look up towards the sky. Really focusing on opening that heart center. And then once you're ready, dive with that heart towards the ground into your child's pose as the arms reach up to the sky. We're gonna do this a couple times. Inhale, you're gonna open and look up. Allow the heart to lead this movement for you. Exhale, release the chest towards the knees, arms up to the sky. Again, inhale, look up. Good, open up through that heart center, exhale, release it down. Inhale, once you're ready, lift up, open up. Exhale, release, and this time coming up to your knees, opening even deeper, and then making circular movements as you dive down and up so draw a circle with your body going down to the mat as far as you're comfortable so dip and around good and reverse the direction dip and around for one dip and around for two dip and bring yourself up to your knees and then just open up through that heart center one more time. Look up. Release the hands. Reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows into cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows into cactus. So really focusing on opening that heart center, opening the lungs of the body. Sit back down to your heels. Reach the arms and release into child's pose. Great work, you guys. From here, we're gonna roll up forward towards the front of your mat. Bring your feet together, lift the thighs off the mat into your upward facing dog. Bend your knees and sit back into child's pose. Doing that again a few times. Come forward, lift the thighs, open up. Exhale, sit back over into child's pose. Waving the spine, adding lots of fluidity into this movement here. Bend your knees, sit back into child's pose. And again, inhale, lift up, look up, open up. Beautiful, from here, exhale, release the toes and step back into downward facing dog. Walking it out on one spot, letting go of tension in the hamstrings and the calf muscles. Just let it go and then release into downward dog. Let's hold it here for a breath as you inhale. And then as you exhale, take your right hand and reach towards the left knee or perhaps the left ankle. Once you can grab on to any part or along that leg, go ahead and take a gentle twist here, looking up towards the sky. Holding here. And then once you're ready, just switch to the other side. So same thing, left hand to your right ankle or knee. In this practice today, we're going to be focusing on many different types of twisting asanas, as well as pranayama exercises to really awaken the detoxification and boost your own immune system. Go ahead, come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, and go ahead and hop towards the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Release your body, bend your knees, and then begin to roll up to standing reaching both arms up to the sky. Then as you exhale, bring the hands over towards your heart center. 
we're going to take our very first pranayama exercise for practice called your kapalabhati breathing or fire breath. So what you're going to do is inhale into your nose and exhale out of your nose very rapidly as you contract your core. Ready? Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it going, contracting your core. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Awesome, my friends. Release. Just breathe normally for a second. Find that center. Arms down next to the side of your body. Let's just take a flow. Inhale. Reach up. Look up. Open up through that chest and the heart and the lungs. Exhale. Palms together. Dive it down towards the mat. Halfway lengthen on your inhale. Exhale. Stepping back into high plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, release into downward facing dog. Just take a second, inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, hop towards the front of your mat. Halfway lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up, nice and tall. Exhale, hands in Samastiti. One more round of Kapalabhati, this time only 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Release. Breathe normally. Arms down next to the side of your body. Bend your knees, lift up into your Utkatasana chair posture. Palms together at your heart. And then take your right elbow towards your left knee into your twist. Twisting from the belly button. Keeping your hips square if you can, feet together. Keeping your gaze down, because we're going to shift all of our weight over to that left foot and begin to release and extend your right leg behind you. Stay in your twist, and then step your right foot all the way back into your twisted high lunge. From here, palms and the hands staying together. And if it's within your practice, you're more than welcome to extend your elbows at this time, planting the palm of your hand onto the mat along the left side of your left foot. And again, if you'd like to take it further, you can go ahead into a full bind. Taking your left arm behind your back, right arm through your legs. Good. Your gaze can stay down or you can look up at this time. Just breathe it in deeply. Beautiful. Now from here, whenever you're ready, you can slowly let go of your bind, bring the palms of your hands together, and then untwist the body, stay in your lunge and reach both arms up to the sky. From here, we're gonna take our eagle arms. You're gonna take your right elbow underneath the left elbow, intertwine the wrist, and then just begin to move with that body up and down. So elbows towards that front knee. Exhale, bring the body up. Inhale, elbows to the front knee. Exhale, bring it up. So you're challenging the balance here. So we're really focusing on going deeper into that strength of the lower body. Stay where you are. Shift your weight over towards that front foot. Right knee up to your belly button. And then coming over to your full eagle pose. So right knee over left knee. Interlace the ankles. Good. Elbows in front of you. Hold it here. Deep breath in. Extend your arms up to the sky, knee up towards your belly button, and then take the outside of your right foot with your left hand and then begin to extend that right leg in front. See how far you feel comfortable. If you're in a full extension, then you can reach your right arm behind you and go into a deeper twist and opening here. Engage in your core, engage in your balance and your focus. Release the foot. And then bring yourself over into your warrior three, hands in front, in front of your heart. Hips are square. Find that focus, that determination. And then once you're ready, open the hips, stack your right hip over your left. Maybe keep your hands at your heart or extend both arms. Right arm reaching up to the sky, left hand reaches to the mat. You can even use your left fingertips for a little bit more support if you need to. Then bend that front knee and let's transition into our warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. 
Good, nice deep lunge here. Knee on top of your ankle. Extending the front knee, reaching your left hand down as your right arm reaches back up to the sky, Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Now really think of opening the body, stacking your shoulders, opening those hips. I always like to say, imagine you have a wall in front of you and a wall behind you. And you're trying to fit your body in between two walls here. So think growing tall and long through the upper body, reaching those fingertips up to the sky. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, back up. Bend that front knee, warrior two. Intertwine your elbows again in our eagle pose with the arms. Lift the back heel, shift and pivot back into your crescent lunge. Eagle arms stay where they are. Bring your weight back to that left foot, right knee up to the belly button. And one more time, let's come on down to our eagle pose. In this posture, as we hold our legs crossed like this, we're creating some compression in the internal organs, which then will force new, fresh blood flow into those areas of the body. Releasing toxins and negativity, go ahead, bring yourself up, release the feet, reach the arms up, and then hands at your heart. Inhale, reach up, lengthen through the spine, let's look up to the sky. Bend your elbows, exhale, dive your body down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into your high plank position, taking your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Well done, friends. Inhale, let's lift both heels off the mat. Bend your knees, and then I want you to hop towards the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, you're going to stand up nice and tall. Reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands at your heart. And let's do another round of our fire breath, Kapalabhati. Ready? Inhale to your nose. Exhale out of your nose for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Just take a breath normally. Exhale out, release the hands. On your next inhalation, bend both knees, reach both arms up to the sky, Utkatasana chair. Hold it here, get nice and low with those hips, hands at your heart, and let's go ahead and take our twist. At this time, left elbow to your right knee, twist from the belly button, make sure those hips are square, your right elbow points up to the sky. Great, hold it here. Beautiful, and then shift your weight over to that right foot. Begin to extend your left leg all the way back. Step your left foot back, holding this twisted crescent lunge. Now you can continue to stay here, or of course, you can go ahead and take the variation that feels right for your body today. So maybe you wanna extend both elbows and keep your left hand grounded along the right side of your foot, or bind. Right arm behind your back, left arm through the legs. Then once you can connect the fingers, really think of opening through those shoulders. Awesome. Now if you like, slowly begin to bring your gaze back down towards the mat. Just keep that focus in that center. Whenever you're ready, you may slowly release the bind, extending your arms up, and then bring the palms of your hands together. Untwist the upper body, reach both arms up to the sky, crescent lunge. Let's take our eagle arms, and this time left elbow underneath your right elbow. Intertwine the wrist, palms together. Working on connecting movement with your breath by bringing your body down, and then bringing the body up. So elbows towards that front knee, stay in that focused balance, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, good, stay with the breath, exhale up, beautiful, stay and breathe, shift your weight to your right foot, bring your left knee up, and let's take our eagle pose, crossing your left knee over right, intertwine and interlace your ankles, elbows in front of you. 
Stay, breathe, focused, strong and powerful. Beautiful. Now from here, what we're going to do is lift ourselves back up, release the hands, and then press that foot all the way back into your warrior three. Hands are staying at your heart. Find that center, find that balance. Engage your core to help you with your balance. Flex the back foot and then begin to open up through the body. So stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and either keep your hands together in prayer or perhaps extend into your half moon. If you're extending your arms, you can use those fingertips to give you a little bit more support and balance. And then release and transitioning right into our warrior two or Virabhadrasana two. Getting nice and deep, drop those shoulders away from the ears. Holding that balance, extending the front knee palms forward and release into your Trikonasana triangle pose. Looking up towards the sky at this time, really think again, stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Remember that visual cue of being in between two walls. Allowing yourself to feel that opening in your entire body, in your psoas, in your side body. Breathe it in. Let it go. Beautiful. Now slowly bring yourself back up. Go ahead and return back into your warrior two. And let's take our eagle arms. This time, left elbow underneath your right. Lift the back heel. And pivot yourself over into your crescent lunge, high lunge. Stay here for a breath. And then as you exhale, bring yourself back up, left knee to your belly button, coming back into our eagle pose one more time. Squeeze, hold, find that balance. Remember, we're welcoming fresh new blood into our body, into our internal organs. So focus, slowly release, and step your feet together. Beautiful work, my friends. Let's go ahead and open up through that chest and heart. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into your high plank position. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back. Let it go, release into your downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Good, just hold for a moment, finding that center. Lifting the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up nice and tall, reach both arms up to the sky. Then exhale, hands to heart. Let's take another round of our Kapalabhati. Inhale into your nose. Exhale out of your nose for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, twenty. Awesome. Just find your normal breath. Let it go. Release your hands at your side. Beautiful. Just take the second for yourself. And once you're ready, reach and lengthen through the spine as you open up. Bend your elbows into cactus arms. Again, creating lots of space in the lungs and the heart. Arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, release into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, and at this time, hop over and come to a seated position on your mat. We're just going to do another set of really deep twists here to finish off. So first, once you're ready, just sit up nice and tall, reach both arms up, bend your left knee into the chest and cross your left foot over your right leg, and then bend your right knee. From here, opposite elbow, so right elbow to your left knee, then your left arm reaches all the way back, and you can stay here and just look over your shoulder. If it's within your practice, take that right hand through the little hole of the front leg, and then take your bind. So if you know how to bind, go ahead and do it. If you're not comfortable with it today, don't worry. You can still just remain in that more simple variation of the spinal twist and still gain all the amazing benefits and detoxification qualities of this asana. Once you're ready to release, you come back to center. 
release the feet and switch sides. So same thing, this time now the right foot is on the mat, left leg is down, left elbow to your right knee, right arm either reaches and just plants itself next to your body as you look over your right shoulder, or if you're comfortable, release that hand through your right knee and bind it with the other arm and hand behind your back. Wherever you are, whichever variation, think about elongating through the spine here. So imagine if somebody put a little string at the top of your head and they begin to pull you up to the sky. So visualize that sensation of elongation. And as you're elongating, you're twisting, releasing, detoxifying the body. Beautiful. Once you're ready to release, unbind, return back to center, release the feet, extend, and let's just bend your knees holding this supported boat pose. Palms of your hands are grounded behind you, and then plant your feet on the mat, hip width apart, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, and look all the way back, lengthening and opening that front body, and then releasing down to your seated position, making your way over all the way down to your back, resting your head on the floor. And then from here, let's just release and lift into bridge. Lift the pelvis, again, squeeze the glutes. You can interlace your fingers behind you. If you'd like to go ahead and take a full wheel at this time, you are more than welcome to do that if it's within your practice. However, if you're not comfortable with it, just stay with me. Okay, once you're ready to release, roll your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, and then just take a second to windshield wipe the knees. So take the knees to the left and to the right, and then soles of your feet together, coming into our final posture, Supta Baddha Konasana, placing your right hand onto your chest, left hand onto the belly. We're going to stay in this asana and finish up our practice here with a three-part breath exercise. So I want you to inhale. Think about inhaling into the belly, allowing the belly to rise, and then move that breath up towards the rib cage, to the chest and the heart, and then exhale out of the chest, out of the ribs, and then out of the belly. So do this a few times at your own pace. Remember, you can always continue to practice this exercise and stay longer. However, if you do need to get on with your day, go ahead and just slowly move your body and meet me in a seated position on your mat. You can continue to do this exercise, the breathing exercise, please stay there. Otherwise, just close your eyes, rest your hands on the knees, and take a couple of final deep breaths, just really connecting to that energy, the energy of health, well-being, balance, and peace. Affirming a mantra that you are healthy, that you are strong, that you deserve to feel amazing in your body. Whenever you're ready, slowly bring the palms of your hands together over to your heart in Anjali Mudra and take this opportunity to thank yourself for your beautiful practice today, for doing something good for your body and for your well-being. Thank you so much for joining me in beautiful Costa Rica. I send you all my love and all my light. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. Before you go, we want to thank Cow Bliss for sponsoring today's video. After a powerful yoga practice or a deep intense workout, Fueling yourself with a healthy, nutrient-dense smoothie is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. Lately, we've been experimenting with many different products and ingredients and have fallen in love with incorporating Cacao Bliss by Earth Echo Foods into almost every smoothie we make. Cacao Bliss has officially become a staple in our kitchen as it fuels us with excellent nutrition. This delicious cacao blend is loaded with raw cacao, MCT oil, turmeric, lacuma, and four superfoods. When we mix and blend this all-organic anti-inflammatory cacao goodness with some of other our favorite ingredients like chia seeds and maca powder, 
we create the most delicious chocolate smoothie that leaves us feeling replenished and energized from the inside out. To grab your own Cacao Bliss and try it out in your own smoothies or morning coffee, go to earthechofoods.com slash bohobeautiful and use our code boho to get 15% off. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.